Hey guys, welcome to another video on our channel. So today we're doing a bit of preventative maintenance. I see that. We got the Moog ball joints. Damn. Because uh, the ball joints on this car are notorious on these chassis for, for giving out. And all the groups that I'm in constantly, public service announcement, replace your ball joints. So this in itself, if you drive a GS, change your fucking ball joints. Those are pretty beefy looking, man. Fucking better me. <laughs> If you guys haven't seen the last video, check it out. Uh, we got a sponsor and uh, it's a luminous tint. It's beautiful fucking chrome tint. We have a 10% discount code for you guys. If you guys really want this, this is ocean blue. They have many other colors, gold, uh, reds, black chrome, it's regular tint too. Like hit them guys, hit them up guys. Cause like, yeah, it's amazing tint, man. It's, it's sick. Definitely gets all the looks. That's for all sure. All the looks. Whoa. Whoa. Oh shit. Damn. Oh. I have a feeling that ball joints are like brake related. Let's, let's get into it. Find That's out. uh. I'm assuming ball joints because last time we were under there, they were leaking from the boot, but not onto the fucking rim. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at it. Oh yeah, that's oh the sauce. God. I'm so glad we didn't like being a to chow, man. Bro, Ooh. for real. <laughs> that was, uh, what did I just wipe oh. off this side? Oh my God. Well, like we said, do your ball joints on these cars because uh, they'll fucking bite you in the fucking ass if you don't, I guess. All right, checking the other side now. Hopefully this side isn't as bad. What are your thoughts? I don't think it's as bad, but it's still probably bad. Yeah. No friggin' no leaking this time, just water, because we just washed it. It's starting to leak, but not, not nearly as bad. Leaking? Oh, uh, uh, I used fucking. to start fucking cracking some nuts instead of cracking jokes, so. Hey, guess it's that time. Let's go. First things first, start off with taking your guys' uh, calipers off. And uh, we're just gonna take it off by the bracket instead of taking off the whole goddamn thing. I don't know why some people do that, but it is what it is. Sorry about that, I couldn't get that one on film. Maybe it pulls off. It's kind of heavy sometimes. Okay. Yeah, just make sure to hang that up, guys, so that way you guys don't stretch out your line. Don't ever let it fucking hang on the ground or anything like that. Um, Next thing's next, though, is just get our rotors off. Normally, your rotor would probably pop off, but we have a uh, hub centric rings that are like pretty much stuck on there all the time. There. <laughs> it's got a muscle in it. You know? Yeah, for real. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and then now you have more access to get to your guys' uh, tie rod. Just crack that free. We'll get the tie rod off and then uh, move on to the next step. Ah! That sounds so bad because the air compressor's off. <laughs> it's like running out of air. I'm also using chrome sockets on impact, but you know, MBD, MBD. You know, it works, it works. Now, uh, here's the hammer. Just uh, hammer your guys' Two hours later. So I know we did the other side the other way. Um, obviously. This makes no sense in the video timeline because we're dark. But uh, anyways, we discovered that honestly, you really don't have to take that top ball joint off. It is nice if you're going to do it or whatever. You can do it. But honestly, we discovered that just getting away with pulling this and leaving it attached from the top and just pulling the bottom ball joints, we were actually able to do it a lot easier than doing what we just showed you. So 
keep that in mind if you want to do it that way. There are two ways to do this. Oh, that's kind of out of the way. Um, one second. I'm a. <laughs> Wait I'm for a, that I'm a, step. We'll be back. Sorry. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do all this stuff and film. But now, uh, we took that off just so we have access to all of this. And this tie rod is being fucking stubborn. So now we're going to. Oh, we can fucking hit it. <laughs> yeah, for real. But, uh, yeah, we'll try to get this off. I'm um, probably not going to film because it's probably just going to be annoying and just really loud and just yeah so look at that we'll try to get that off yeah that is oh. no good no good no good do that again like oh my god like come on i'm not that's not an exaggeration <laughs> that is bad i shouldn't be able to do that look i'll even do the pink you know for them classy people them classy people <laughs> fucking just one of those like you know, guys that just flexes their pinky and it's got like a little muscle. Oh, I'm built different. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we just got that like 20 minutes later and we destroyed our fucking tie rod, so. Looks like I'm getting tie rods sooner than I thought. <laughs> but as you can them. see, the array of tools we have scattered around right now, that was, it took a beating, man. That's not, again, that's what happens when you don't do maintenance in fucking 20 some odd years. For real, like all of this could have been prevented. All you had to do is just I do still this. I can't get over this. No, for real. Well, yeah. All right, so now there's one last thing is just get the cotter pin out from the bottom of the ball joint. And then uh, we're just gonna grab this, the one, get that castle nut off and uh, the ball joint, same fucking process. So hopefully that one just comes out. I want to put it in time lapse, and then like two hits later, it comes out. Oh, here's the old one. What the hell, man? Why didn't we get no stickers? Such a shame, eh? Made in Japan. I <laughs> know it's good. We'll just get everything put together, and then, uh, yeah, certain parts will uh, torque now. Like for this one, we'll probably do now. And then we'll get the tie rod on. Oh, I swear we only know. buy DeWalt because it's only ever on sale. <laughs> you are. Out of breath. But uh, bottom ball joint, torque down. 119 Fucking foot pounds torque. torque five. Fucking torque. Next, uh, we're gonna fill the cotter pin in. And then now we're gonna start working on getting the, the whole hub assembly back on and the tie rod itself. So, let's do that. Good little trick if your uh, ball joint is spinning, just use some pliers. Um, to get as firm as you can on the stud so that way it doesn't slip. And then uh, you should be able to tighten it up and suck it together. Honestly, if we had tie rods right here right now, I'd fucking be putting them in. <laughs> yeah, for real. But we kind of need the car to go get tie rods. <laughs> yeah. So, to uh, put that back on, we did get some new hardware with uh, this replacement kit which is actually really nice some places don't give you hardware or oh. if they do the hardware is fucking shit so and again like i said i'll keep adding torque specs for everything in the corner torque down we got to torque down these bottom ones we were just jacking it up to see because honestly like i ah uh, does not sound good Bottom looks good. Tie rod looks like shit now. Yeah. Fuck, man. What a shitty deal, eh? After all this work put into this. Oh, just just for that. It will, it'll never be done. You see, like, anything you see rusty and crusty, I'm gonna replace at some point. At <laughs> some point. But, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna tighten some stuff and get back into it, so. Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, I gotta fucking torque uh, We'll torque this down and then get done, and then we'll pretty much wrap up this video because we're not gonna bore you with the other side because we're trying to beat the sun, so. And everything takes longer on YouTube. Oh, so much longer. But, not when you're watching, when you're watching, it's like, yo, yo, I'm done. Right. I didn't just spend three hours being pissed off for that. <laughs> you right for a fucking 10 second clip, but. All right, YouTube shit, get into it. Lastly, we're just tightening up the caliper and uh, throw the wheel back on. So, 
yeah, these were honestly pretty simple. Still got the other side to do, but uh, we won't, we won't bore you with that. But go ahead. Man's fighting this fucking caliper bolt. <laughs> Few moments later. <sighs> you know, I ain't on another fucking struggle we just went through with that fucking shit. We're just, so, fuck, we're not waiting. We ain't getting we're into it. We're still on the same side. Look at the daylight. Yeah. We ain't getting into that. Just end the video. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, remember, you're one fucked up bolt away from a fire. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Like, I, we ain't even capping about this, bro. Fuck. We still got the other fucking side to do. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe for more cool car content. <laughs> Peace. No, I'm playing, but yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna do the other side. Thanks for watching. We'll have more videos because we're gonna be buying every kind of suspension component for this fucking car. Apparently. Because so, every time we fix one thing, you know, you find another thing, another thing. It's just like. I should have just left it together. Life repeats itself. <laughs> Can you tell we're done with it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe for more cool content. Oh yeah, don't forget discount code in the description. Luminous tense. Uh, yeah, check that out.